Hi, I'm Stuart Taylor and I make videos about project management. If that's your thing, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today I'm talking to Neil Bloom, who is a program manager and military transition mentor. He's talking about how he transitioned from being in the armed forces to having a full-time professional career as a project manager. I hope this is useful to you. Would you like to tell us about how you made your transition to get from being in the army to being a professional project manager? Yeah, sure, Stuart, and thanks for inviting me along. Uh, so, yeah, I spent 22 years and a couple of days in the military. And uh, on leaving, I decided I wanted to become a project manager or get into project management. Uh, so signing off in 2018, military term signing off, I uh, then went through my project management qualifications and courses. Uh, I did Prince2, I did Agile, I did some change and some Scrum and all that. Uh, I then, you know, kind of researched the role a bit more in depth. And lucky enough, in 2019, then I joined a big transformation program uh, in Cambridge. And that was my kind of journey coming out of the military. A lot more detail within that, if you would like to know. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I mean, how long did that transition take? It's 12 months, pretty much. Uh, so there's from the day you kind of sign off to the day you leave is 12 months period my courses and my whole transition probably around about 10 months with about two months of me time at the end of it as well. But, you know, it's enjoyable. It's it's quite funny because a lot of stuff you do in the military actually is project management at a certain level. You just don't realise that you're doing it. And then when you go through the qualifications, it's like, oh, hang on, this so relates. I've been doing this for the last 15 years kind of thing. So, yeah. Did they help you to understand that you were a project manager and then offer the training towards that or did is that something that you arrived at yourself and you realized that was the direction you wanted to go yeah there's a lot of uh uh knowledge pamphlets and education out there say that military are very good at project managers and you know look at this trade is somewhere you could go and i think most of us in the military at the point of time we don't really relate to it. We're like, are we that good? Do we know what we're doing? Have we done this before? And it's only through experience, you know, of me reaching out to project managers at the time who are ex-military going, hang on a minute, yeah, you you have done this. You know what you're doing. So they kind of, you go, ah, do you know what? The light bulb moment goes off because, yeah, I can do this. So, yeah, they do help you and guide you along as well. Did you have any difficulties in the interview process to demonstrate that you you were a capable project manager? Uh, certain elements, yeah. You know, 22 years in the military, you know, I've never had a, an interview as such. You know, I come out, my first interview wasn't the greatest one of all. Uh, but yeah, it's, you're trying to relate what you've done in the military to the civilian kind of world. And it does take a while for you to translate that across and especially your transferable skills as well. But it's a bit of an art. When you get there, you're like, OK, I've got this now. When you got your first role that was in project management outside of the military, yeah. uh, for me, that first role was largely translating theory into practice and getting that wrong. I was a big adjustment that took years for me, to be honest with you, before I realised yeah. that not everyone was doing it by the book. Did you have a similar transition um, difficulty of any sort once you got into the role where you brought your old attitudes perhaps along or you, you had any misconceptions and had yeah. to relearn a few things? Yeah, you know, first of going into it, you know, this was a big program project it was lots of project managers and all that and then you go into it and you go right let's do it by the book we've got everything and you're looking around and the, and the business aren't doing it by the book they're not doing prints they're doing prints they're doing agile they're doing everything together yeah. and i think it's quickly learning that every business will tailor whatever they need for their their need at the end of the day. Yeah. So you're like, well, oh, let's throw that bit out the window. Let's throw that bit out the window. This works and all that. And then it's it's a bit of, it is a very much an eye opener at the end of the day. But then, you know, from the military background, you know, the the idea of we're, we're good leaders and we're, you know, we're really good at forecasting, planning and thinking ahead. So when it comes into the, the risk management, the planning and the scheduling, it's like you bring this different level of 
thinking, looking out the box and all that. But yeah, initially I was like, okay, well, let's have all this documentation in place. Let's fill all these charters and all that. And I'm like, they're not really doing this, <laughs> but they are still delivering and meeting the targets and the timelines. So yeah, it's just goes to show the courses, the qualifications are all great, but they're just a little cherry on the cake sometimes. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's interesting. So would you say that you've made a successful transition from army into um, professional project management? Yeah, I would say uh, I, my first job was in 2019, uh, when I went out 2022, and I've, I've, I've gone from a project manager to a program manager, you know, in that short period of time, and I, I've loved it, it's brilliant. And I've done digital projects, I've done uh, process lean kind of projects, uh, and optimization uh, organizational development projects. So yeah, I made a good transition, but there are always lumps and bumps and road box there, and you, you just learn to overcome them. It's just a different world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you enjoy it? I love it, you know, being able to go out there. For me, project management and the kind of roles I really like doing is being able to help people make their life and their working life easier for them. So whether that's changing a process, giving them a new product to work with, that does come with challenge. But, you know, the end goal is to make it better for them. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's challenging. Every day is different. And I think that's a very military thing. Every day is a different day. So you'd recommend this for others in the military? Yeah. Uh, it's such transferable skills come across, you know, planners, leadership, communication, relationships, stakeholder management. They're all inherently there of the years of service. You don't realise you're doing it. You, you get to transition out. You start putting names on them or labels to them, and you're like, mm. oh, yeah, I've actually been doing this. Yeah. You know? And I'm actually quite good at it. You know, and you're very agile in your, your mindset as well. So you can actually take the knocks. Something goes wrong. Okay, how do we fix this? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I agree. I think that for me, as I say, it was the problem-solving element and the fact mm. that every day was very different. Uh, and there's no two days that are the same in project management. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe except for steer code days, they they tend to all be the same. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> the same nightmare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's, I think that's one of the biggest learning curves. Uh, you do project management in the military, but you don't do the documentation. You just don't do it. Uh, and then you come into the civilian sector, and it's like, okay, you've got to do the high level uh, reports, high level reports, plans, charters, and all that. It's like, well, it's a lot of detail on that and you know and pmos like yourself like to have them done the right way you know and the pms like to do it as quick as possible just get the information out there it's in your best interest to do them right <laughs> exactly yeah. i'm sure you've heard that before yeah no, you do learn it very quickly yeah thank you neil i appreciate your time now if you're thinking about becoming a project manager but you're not quite convinced Here's a video that shows 10 reasons why you should become a project manager. Go and give it a click.